Hey guys, DRB here, and today I'm just going to show you a simple moving platform blueprint I made in a couple of hours. And essentially it just allows you to create a path for a platform to move along, and then there's also various settings you can, you can change to tweak the behavior of the platform's movement. So I already have a moving platform placed in the level, and this is what it looks like uh, by default without anything changed. Um, and we use a spline to create the path for the platform to take. So I'll go ahead and uh, tweak the spline to just create a simple little path for it to take. Alright, and so like that, you know, we just created a very simple path. We can hit play, and without changing any, any other settings, the platform will move. And then when it reaches the end, um, it should, you know, come back. It'll stop a second. Alright, so like I said, there are a couple of settings that you can change to tweak how the platform behaves. So the first one we have is the loop. Um, this is whether the platform will, you know, when it reaches the end, you know, it'll come back and it'll just keep looping back and forth. Or if you have it, you know, unchecked, it'll just stop when it reaches the end. Uh, then we also have the move platform. This is whether the platform just moves at the beginning of the game. So, for example, you know, we could have it turned off by default and then maybe have a button, button in the level that, you know, turns the platform on. But we'll uh, keep that turned on for now. Uh, then we have the wait at endpoints. Um, this is basically just whether the platform waits, you know, when it reaches, you know, the beginning or the end. And then we can change uh, how long it waits uh, right here with the wait time. Uh, currently it's set to one second. Um, so, you know, we can easily change that to two seconds. So it'll, you know, get to the end, wait two seconds, and then start moving again. Or, well, if looping's turned on, it'll, you know, start moving again. And then the uh, platform start direction. This is just the direction that the platform will start moving in. Uh, one is towards the end of the of the path, and negative one is towards the beginning of the path. And this can, uh, and the start direction comes really in handy when you start messing with the next few settings. Uh, for example, we have the track duration, which is just how long it takes for the platform to get to the end of the path. And then, you know, the same same amount of time to get back to the beginning. Um, then we can do the platform start time, and this is just where along the path the platform starts. So we could simply change that to 5, you know, which is the midway point, because, um, you know, our track duration is 10 seconds right now. And then with that, we could change the start direction to negative 1, so the platform will actually start headed back towards the beginning of the track. So we can actually go ahead and uh, see that working. And then we can even uh, turn looping off. And you'll see it uh, just sit there and stop. Alright, and so yeah, the last few settings, uh, we have the stop on hit. Um, this is basically whether the platform stops when it collides with any solid object. So, for example, we could put this block in the way, and we have a stop on hit turned on. It should hit it. Yeah, so you see it stops when it hits it, or we could you know, move it out of the way, and it continues to move. Move it back in the way, and it should, uh, we actually turn the looping off. Turn that back on. We'll turn a uh, wait at endpoints off as well, just so we can see that that's working. All right, so it stops, moves again. As you see, when it reached the beginning, it just immediately started heading, you know, towards the end of the track. And we can just move this out of the way. Keeps moving. All right, so that's basically it. Um, we have these last few settings, and this is just whether the platform uses the uh, splines rotation and we can turn uh, specific uh, specific uh, axis um, on or off 
So for example, we can have it follow the pitch of the spline, and we can also turn, you know, have it do the yaw. Um, although to see the yaw, we would have to move the track out like that. As you saw, the uh, platform rotated with the spline. And so as you can see, it just kind of follows the the uh, you know rotation of the spline. <clears throat> Uh, we I do have the you can have it rotate with the roll of the spline. Um, however, uh, the spline editor currently does not have a good way of visualizing the rotation of the spline, so it's kind of difficult to get the uh, behavior you want when you're using roll. So I typically do not use that, but it is there for anyone who would want to use it. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll uh, most likely just end up uploading this for download and uh, post it on the Unreal Engine forums.